Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, today's episode is Heater Host Coolant is leaking. Uh, so, pretty much uh, the plastic that connects to the heater hose. So, this one right here. So, this is the plastic right here. Right? This is the hose. And then there's the um, a ne plastic connecting pipe that goes to the heater core right so I'm gonna replace that um, we're gonna try to um, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish I'm gonna fix this so I'm gonna fix this by replacing it with a brass or a galvanized uh, metal because I have I also have a plastic to uh, put it on there but uh, I'll decide what to use uh, later on I may just use a plastic, you know. The one that I got from Lord Co. It's a three quarter size. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and re remove these clamps and remove the clamps. And I'm um, also gonna pinch this hole so there is no, there's not much, there's going, there isn't going to be a lot of uh, coolant that's gonna leak out. And I'm just gonna have some pan uh, to catch the. Uh, the fluid that's gonna leak out right underneath there so anyway I'm gonna get started all right guys so I have a pliers here to pinch the hose I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two clamps starting here I right, guess so I'm just gonna open the uh, reservoir cap just to release that. If you guys hear that whistling sound, I release the pressure on the uh, cooling system. Alright, so anyway. See how easily that thing broke off? Yeah. I'm just trying to drop the plastic piece that was left up in the hose while I'm while I'm pressing it so they all uh, collapse and crack and break into pieces okay I just want to make sure all the plastic are out I'll give it a wiggle there okay next step is to remove this part this is going to be tricky oh it came off easy Alright guys, not for me. There you go. Okay, so it's out. It's out guys. So basically... Oh, that's what it's going to be, right? So I'll have another uh, piece a joint piece here and goes to the heater core I might eventually change this too it's probably uh, bad too anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I have okay guys so I picked this up from Lord Co this is what I have and 
it is a perfect fit and the hose that I have is this hose right here it is also a perfect fit so I'm gonna go ahead and and let's see how much I'm gonna cut I'm probably just gonna need a little bit of piece of hose that goes in there so first things first I'm gonna put this in all right guys so I applied some uh, Vaseline on here so it could easily go in I have a hard time pushing it in just like so so I got that in All right, guys. There you go. So now I'm just gonna cut about maybe I can move this one now. The pliers. Let's see. All right. it's gonna be let me have another light so I just I just actually just want to see the bottom of this hose there it's not like pinching whatever right so it's gonna be like that so position it like this so I'm gonna have it like that and cut it cut it right here so I'm going to cut right here. Right there. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I don't have a hose cutter. I'll just use the blade. Hope you guys can see this. Just like this. Oh, I dropped it. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, guys, I found it. So basically, you go in like that, all the way through. Now I can use this clamp, so I'm just gonna remove this clamp, all right? Put this in first. I'm just gonna apply some uh, Vaseline here. Do that. So you're not having hard, you won't have a hard time sliding it in the pipe. All right, guys. That's it. and then put the clamp 
to my bin. Just like that. And there you go. Alright guys, that's done. Just gonna remove this one right here. There you go, boom. Excellent. Now what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna monitor how uh, how this is gonna be. Monitor for leaks, right? done deal okay so this fixes the leak All right guys all right so quick fix all right guys so if you have this problem if you have a leak coming from your heater core make sure you check it periodically especially uh, if your car is over 10 years you make sure that you you check this out because this, this plastic piping is here they don't last very long right so as you guys can see this one just easily cracked and it was it, it was leaking uh, minor uh, so it was a minor leak but uh, there, this is a quick fix right here that you can do it's so either you can put you can also put a galvanized steel to put it in between a galvanized steel would actually um, last a lot longer than the plastic so but I, I didn't want to do any cutting today so I'll just uh, I just use the plastic one that I got from Lord Co right and I also plan to replace this this one right here so I got a T uh, yeah I don't think that was gonna work because it's a T one that I have is a T. This doesn't look like a T. It is a T, but like no one goes on top, one on side, and one on this side. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. But anyway, it's not leaking yet, so I'll just leave it like that. All right, guys. So if you guys like this content, uh, don't forget to smash a like, subscribe, comment and uh ring the bell guys thank you guys